Hello, St. Paul family. My name is Tracy Trinkwine, and I am going to provide you with a short financial update. Just want to remind you, we are halfway through our fiscal year. Our fiscal year started July 1, 2020. And we also have a unified budget, which means both church and school. So as of the end of December, those unified financials were in the black, which is great news. However, our church income is down compared to the same time period last year. So it takes about $380,000 a month to operate the church and the school. And you may think that your gift couldn't possibly make a difference when you hear that number. But you have to remember that we work in God's economy. And in His economy, He uses everything, no matter how big or how small. So yes, your gift does matter. And I want to say thank you to those of you who give. Speaking of giving, did you know that the church tithes 10% of its general fund operating to our ministry partners? That helps them further their ministry in our community and beyond. So for the calendar year 2021, that number was $108,000. Additionally, many of you give to those ministry partners through the church. And that total for the calendar year 2021 was $107,000. So in total, with both the church tithe and the gifts directly from our members, in 2021, we gave over $215,000 to our ministry partners. And that is just amazing. It is just amazing how God works through us to further the mission here at St. Paul and in our community. So I would like to end with asking you to pray for three things. The first is general economy issues. So we are experiencing some of the same issues that you are. Increased pricing, uh, shortages on shelves, supply chain delays. And so I ask for your prayers concerning those things and perhaps a little grace when things don't turn out just exactly how we planned. The second thing I would like for you to pray for is staffing. We have had some serious challenges here, both at church and school. Ken Sherman commented recently that his tech teams have been hit hard with people out sick, but they've managed to pull things together. So huge thank you to all of you who help manage a Sunday morning, all those background things that many of us who sit in the pew don't see. But maybe I could ask you to pray about being a volunteer. We need extra people to fill in. So if you are willing, please speak up. And the third thing I ask you to pray for is wisdom. Wisdom for the leaders of our ministry as we head into 2022 and all of the decisions that have to be made. So three things to pray for, general economy issues, staffing issues, and wisdom. Thank you for watching this update. And as always, if you have any further questions, you can reach me at the office. God's blessings on your day.